Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, Mastodon22 here with another episode of Batman The Enemy Within. Now in this episode we are starting episode 2, The Pact. So what happened last day? Lamanda Waller knows who Bruce, uh, Batman is, who Bruce Wayne is. Um, Riddler got killed. What else? Uh, I think that was it. That was the main point. Riddler got killed and Waller knows who Bruce is. Which I think is the main reason why... No, which I think is the reason why it says there with his identity on the line he's got to work with uh, Amanda Waller. Or power play, whatever the heck works cause it said. Boom, 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 boom. Alright, I hope you liked Last of Us yesterday. I enjoyed making it. A madman from Gotham's past returned to terrorize my city. He drew me into his twisted game. Striking at the things I hold most dear. But I survived his deadly traps. I emerged the victor. But the cost was too great. Lucius Fox is dead. Riddler is dead. And with him, the only lead I had to taking down the greatest danger Gotham has ever faced. And the person best equipped to help me is a threat to my deepest secret. The Riddler was going to be my way in, once we captured him alive. But now I have you to lean on. A man who lives on both sides of the line and knows exactly when to cross it. Yes, you and I will be working together very closely. Bruce Wayne. The lady at Dublin. First thing you need to know, I can keep your secret. And despite what you did, going behind my back to Mori, I will continue to keep it. No reports, nothing. No one else needs to know. To deal with the present threat, though, I need both of you. The man inside and outside the mask. You have to understand, I'm not the enemy here. It may seem that way right now, but I'm not. Our problems are far too big for us to be bickering among ourselves. If that's true, then reinstate Gordon as commissioner. Hm. You really are loyal to that stubborn old mule, aren't you? I'll tell you. Trust him. Play nice with me now, and when this is all over, I'll make things right with Gordon. When Riddler's friends hear he's dead, they ain't gonna just carry on carrying on. They might get sloppy. They might want revenge. Or they might simply accelerate their plans. I'm gonna need eyes everywhere in Gotham. A man like Bruce Wayne, with all his influence and resources, can go places Batman can't. You understand what I'm saying, don't you? Your public kind of like, persona could be a great help to us here. Useful, like Maybe kind of even as much as Batman in certain situations. I know when to be Batman and when to be Bruce. It's the mask that fits best at the time. Tactical. Now you're speaking my language. Oh. What the hell? Looks like the whole city's under attack. We've got a report of a raid on the Gotham PD arsenal. If those bastards get their hands on our weapons... This is coordinated. It's Riddler's gang. It has to be. We're gonna need Batman for this one. Agreed. Emergency services is already pushed to the limit. Then we'll have to redeploy patrol officers to defend the arsenal. Don't divert any men, Gordon. 
I can handle the arsenal call. Thank you. Let's move, people. This is what we trained for. There's been an attack in the financial district. Biotech company on the west side is under siege. That's not true. I'll live your usefulness and the boss will make a pretzel out of your neck. How many are there? I don't know. Ten or twelve, maybe? The really big one. He, he made me give him the keys to the armored transport vehicles. I didn't want to. I swear. It's okay. Get out of here. Now. Thank you, Batman. Hey, you about done? Yeah, yeah, just... The Batman! Boss, we got company! Shit. But you can call me Bane. <laughs> a man cannot win a war alone. You fight well, but you fight alone. You will die alone. See why Riddler wanted to be the one to kill you. Riddler is dead. He's dead, Got Riddler. You should be worrying about yourself. I promised my men a hell of a battle if ever I faced you, and I'd hate to disappoint them. Oh, I haven't faced a true warrior since I left Peña Duro prison. <laughs> Save your strength, man. This one is mine. Uh oh. I will give 
if you at peace for death. If you take it. I got him! Pain you're feeling, Batman. Yeah, Coburn. Batman, what's wrong? Jim. Hang in there. Help is on the way. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't care about Walla. Whatsoever. I might have to follow her lead the now. I get the opportunity. I am either beating the shit over or killing her, which I don't think is going to be an option. Rip. I don't like how quiet this bit is. So just silent. There we go. Hey, <laughs> you mind giving me some help out Batman. with this? Batman! And say something if you can hear me! Gordon... Christ... Batman... Come on, help me! It won't move! Batman, we're gonna need you to help us push this thing off you. Come on. The mechanic. Where is he? He didn't make it. Damn it. He saved my life. Batman? It's okay, Jim. I just need a minute. Well, when you're feeling up to it, I'd love to hear what the hell happened here. I, who did this to you? He called himself Bane. His men loaded the weapons onto the APCs. Said they were taking them to a warehouse near the docks. You need to find them. Don't worry. We'll catch the bastards. You better believe the entire force is motivated after what happened tonight. These bastards declared war on our city. Bane sent his men to hide the weapons. 
leave Bane to me. Uh, give us a second, will you? Thanks for sticking your neck out and calling me with this. I need all the juice I can get now that we live in Waller's Gotham. We're going to have to stick together if we're going to weather her storm. You and me, we're nothing like her. I will always have your back, Jim. Thanks, Batman. You don't know how good it is to hear that. Thanks again for keeping me in the loop. It means a lot. Uh, no problem. <sighs> right on time. I'll get to the Batcave. See if I can make some sense of what happened tonight. So, what did I miss? Oh, I was at the scene of a heist at the Gotham Brokerage House when Batman called me here. What were they after? We're still getting a full account. Once the dust settles, I'll send you everything we've got. Detective Bullock's writing up a full report. I'll have him send you a copy. Officers are ready for your deployment orders. I've got to get going. Your partner, Avesta. How is she? Still in the hospital. And doctors say the hearing damage could be permanent. Damn it, it should have been me. I failed her. I put her in danger. It's my fault. The blame for what happened to Avesta rests with Riddler. Not you. That's nice of you to say. Look, I owe you one for saving my life back there. So I gotta warn you. Waller flipped when she heard you called Gordon instead of her. You really should stay on Waller's good side for as long as you can. For everyone's sake. I'll tell Avesta you asked about her. Hey, right yet? Alfred, how do you communicate with that We're going to need it. Same language. There we go. Sign language and writing. are not fine, Bruce. <laughs> None of this is fine. You were nearly killed tonight. Those minutes of silence, waiting for you to respond, they were the worst of my life. But I didn't know if you were alive or dead, or if... if I would ever see you again. I'm so sorry to put you through that, Hal. You'll just do it again tomorrow? We already lost Lucius. I couldn't bear losing you, too. Uh, uh, we... we can talk about all this later. Come on now. Let's get you patched up. Oh. Huh. Jesus. As if he wasn't bad enough, now Director Waller knows your identity. That information in her hands? Waller isn't the one we need to worry about. Bane is still on the loose, with enough guns to arm a small militia. Oh, I... I understand. The man died for you tonight, Bruce. Trying to save you from that monstrosity. Too many have died. In too short a time. The cost of this war, it just continues to rise. Alfred, we will get through this. You know that, right? This storm will pass. Yes, I, I know that, Bruce, and I'm sorry for not being... I 
resolute self. It's just this bane is terrifying. We've never seen this kind of destructive power before. Waller was right about one thing. Riddler was just a small part of a larger threat. Let's begin with the dart I pulled from his neck. Got it? I'm good, thanks. Out. Huh. There's still some toxin left in here. What kind of toxin? Something new. There's a whole series of powerful psychoactive what? meds in this cocktail. Drugs that are lethal when combined. Who could have come up with such a concoction? And did the same person pull the trigger? Bane's attack was one of three tonight, all at the same time. Let's bring him up, get an assessment of the damage. Gothcorp Labs, Genetic Research Facility. Where do we even start with this? Yes, I have no idea. Authorities can't determine what was even stolen until all of that melts. At least 20 dead. Some completely encased in ice. The oh, others were frozen um, solid. Some of their limbs shattered. As Mr. They Freeze. What's his name? Dr. Freeze. Waller's intel shows that the thieves made off with numerous pieces of equipment used in the storage and transportation of biological material. I don't even want to think what they'd want that for. No IDs on any suspects, though. Security cameras frozen. All witnesses dead. Gotham brokerage. Oh, Harley Ten Quinn. million in diamonds stolen. Oh, Harley and Quinn sale. Some safety deposit boxes emptied. Contents unknown. Over a dozen dead. And even more wounded. Mostly by gunshot, though some victims had their heads smashed in. Oh, that's barbaric. Witnesses place Harleen Quinzel at the scene, dressed up as a clown and wielding a mallet. Don't ask me. Riddler's friends are as insane and gruesome as he was. Perhaps even more. Those same witnesses say that she acted alone. All that carnage. All by herself. Sheesh. Guns, money, biotech? What are they planning? We won't know until we get to Bane. I don't mean to cause offense, but you're in no shape to beat the information out of that monster. Or take on his friends if it comes to it. We've already seen how formidable Bane is on his own. Of course I could use help. But both the GCPD and the agency are stretched thin. One thing's for sure. We can't just wait around for Bane to strike again. The death toll is already too high. You told Waller you knew when to be Batman and when to be Bruce. Riddler said his friends abandoned him at the Lady of Dublin. He alluded to the fact that John Doe was one of them. If that's the case, then John can get you close to the others. He already wants you to meet them. John Doe might be your best chance of getting inside, finding out what they're up to. I'll have to repay John's trust with betrayal. You wouldn't have to betray him if he didn't associate with criminals. It'll be dangerous approaching Vane and his people this way. I'd be suspicious of anyone who isn't a proven criminal. You'll have to give the performance of a lifetime to pull the wool over their eyes. My father was one of the best-known criminals in Gotham. It should be easy enough to pretend I'm following in his footsteps. I suppose it could work. So that's it then. I find John Doe and accept his offer. Sure, buddy. Oh. 
The stack deck. That's where he is. I suppose you couldn't wait an hour or two while you rest. Not a chance. I'll tell you about Batman. He's no hero. The way I see it, he's just a bunch of hired muscle for rich guys. Guys like Bruce Wayne. I see. Willie, tell Bruce Wayne how that makes you feel. It, okay. It feels... No, Willie, he's on your right. Feels like crap, Wayne. Preach! And you're just a huge, colossal, gigantic, spoiled piece of sh Oh, uh, <laughs> I am. Uh, uh, I mean, uh. <laughs> Go on. Finish what you were gonna say. I was gonna say you're a coward who lets other people do his dirty work. But you get away with it all. Nothing <laughs> bad ever happens to Bruce Wayne. That's because I can say myself. The whole dead parents thing. Bruce, uh, uh, don't mind Willie. We're just messing with you. You look like you could use a drink. <laughs> hey John, what about my medicine? Bottles under my chair, Willie. Like the call kind of leads you to be in whatever it takes. I uh I run a therapy circle here every second Sunday. These people need the expertise that I learned in Arkham. Expertise what? So Really got what was coming to him. Authorities are refusing to comment on the death of the mysterious criminal known as Riddler. Who am However, I? Who am I? You're a rotting, murder. stinking corpse. That's who you are. <laughs> John, did you have anything to do with the Riddler's death? I mean, I hated the guy, but geez, Bruce. You really think I'd be capable of cold-blooded murder? Um, After everything you know about me, you really think I'd do that? No, kind of, but of nah. I mean, I know you hated him, but you know, killer. What was I thinking? Uh, I know what you were thinking. But hey, no harm done. Anyway. I was a little surprised to see you, Bruce. I'm guessing this is about that favor I asked. Look, before we get into that, I need to come clean. Riddler was more connected to my friends than I'd let on at the funeral. Riddler? Really? Yeah, he was kind of our leader, but he was just so bad at it and so intolerably annoying. <laughs> Be out of the picture by the time you came around. I should have told you. I just I didn't want you to think we were all like him. No secrets between us. Ever again. You have my word. I pinky swear. <laughs> uh oh, of course I've got the okay. Pinky swear. Friends for life. <laughs> All right, let's go meet the guys. I'll let them know we're on our way. Hey! I'm out of medicine. I don't like your face. I think you're bothering my friend John. Okay, fine. You're right. 
I'll leave him be. Go away, Willie. What are you? Screw you! Nobody <laughs> disrespects me! No one's making a fool out of Willie! Easy, Willie. I can give you money if you just leave John alone. A bribe? <laughs> I can't be bought off that easy, Wayne. This cash can buy you a whole lot of medicine. Oh, well, when you, when you put it that way. <laughs> Thanks, Wayne. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Without laugh. You. Uh, Br Bruce, um, wow. <laughs> one, one more thing. You can't tell anyone this. This is big. It's huge. <laughs> I think I'm in love. Yeah. It, it's, it's an odd feeling. I am so happy, John. Deserve the best. Yeah, I'd blush if I could. So mysterious. You at least gotta tell me her name. She'll, she'll, she'll want to introduce herself, but uh, if you could please help me look good in front of her, I'd appreciate it. Come on. We shouldn't keep her waiting. You know what I find funny? It's the opposite way about in the comics and that. So Joker's got the cushion highlight Harley. Almost got it. But in this game it's no way. Joker's a cushion Harley, but in normal everything else it's it's Harley as a cushion Joker. I'm pretty sure this is how you get this thing started. John, really? You stole this car? I know it's kinda of falling apart, but it was the only thing available, you know? Besides, the newer models, they don't start so easy without a key. There we go! Oh. Don't turn around. All right, Wayne. You got my attention. Give me good one voice. good reason why I don't redecorate the windshield with your noodle. I bet a smart guy like you has some real pretty brains. Real bright. Well, if you know who I am, then you probably know I'm more useful alive. That makes sense. Sense is so boring, though. What about money, power, and influence? They bore you, too? No. Those are fun. <laughs> I'm just joshing your rich boy. See? There wasn't even a bullet in the chamber. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Well, let's put some music on. Now, Bruce, this is the lady I was telling you about. Harley Quinn. <laughs> Isn't she a hoot? A hit. Um. I knew you guys would hit it off. Sure. I can see the funny side. See, I told you, Bruce is a good sport. What in here says you're chomping at the bit to meet us? I want to get an idea why. What do you get out of rubbing shoulders with the likes of us? The agency is after us both. After the bombing, they've been sniffing all around Wayne Enterprises. We should work together to get them off our backs. Sounds to me like you just bring more heat. Bruce could be a real help to us, Harley. You should have seen how he took out this guy in the bar. He played him like a Stradivarius. Do us a favor, Pud. Skip over to that bodega and get me a slushy. Right now? <laughs> Need a buck? <laughs> I got it. 
Oh. Oh no, what's gonna happen to me? She's gonna get really serious now. Oh, John. He just doesn't know who he is yet. You know, he's searching. Highly impressionable. He thinks the world of you. So I asks myself, what's Bruce Wayne want with a lost soul like John? It's kind of a mismatch. Raises all kinds of questions. I feel bad for him, you know? Coming out of Arkham all alone. He's not equipped to deal with the world. It's true. Poor old Puddin don't know a fiesta from a funeral. But there's a world full of charity cases out there. And you pick John. You got that look in your eye. The kind that says you're trouble. And I only like trouble when I'm the one causing it. You got a good reason why I should trust you? Cause I sure as hell can't see one. Ah, oh, you are a bitch. After all, you're a squeaky clean favored son of Gotham. How am I supposed to believe you won't run to the cops the first chance you get? My father used to run crime in the city. It's in my blood. Fooey. My mama was a grocer. I don't give two craps about fruits. You think that's the same? Hm. Don't matter. You'll show me soon enough if you got what it takes. Oh, gee, thanks, Wood. We gotta go. What were you guys talking about? We were talking about Chapud, about how worried we are for your well-being. Oh? Bruce feels bad for you, for, you know, having such a hard time with life. Ain't that right, Brucey? Well, actually, technically... Ain't that the gist of it? Technically, I did say that. That's the old me, Bruce. The new me. You won't have to feel sorry for. All right. Can you shut up? Oh my God, that is the best damn slushy ever. Suck on that. Ah, uh, no, nope. Don't let the word you just I use. I swear, it'll make your whole body shiver. Come on, put your lips on it. No. Oh shit. Mhm. Mm <laughs> I told ya. Okay. Shit. Here's what's going to happen now, Mr. Moneybags. Cut the wrong one. You're gonna go get Mama a little present. From inside there. Wayne Enterprises. A little bird told me there's some pretty fancy hacking tech up there. Something called a phalanx key. Get it for me? I'll know you're on the level about the agency. Maybe I'll even vouch for you with the rest of the guys. What do you want with the phalanx key? Why wouldn't I want it? I hear this thing opens half the security systems in Gotham. And it's just sitting there, hidden in your lab, waiting for someone to put it to use. Fair point. <laughs> What's the matter? You better not try nothing fishy. I don't want to have to splatter that pretty face. It's okay, face. Harley. Bruce and I already talked. He'll do whatever you want. Is that right? Will you do whatever I want? Uh... Will you jump when I say jump? Will you bring me the shiny things I ask for? I'll do whatever I think is necessary. That's how this gets done. Sounds like Bruce has got it covered. Whoa, car. Reckless driving. You're on, Brucey boy. Make yourself useful and get me that failing ski. And hurry. Shut up. Mama really wants to get herself some tacos when you're done. Got this, Bruce. Wow. 
Why did you throw me off so far away from it? Ah, I never got to walk. <laughs> I'm going to end it in the next save file. Huh, Mr. Wayne! Uh, yeah, if you could please sign in on account of the attack. Oh, okay. So, um, what brings you in? If you don't mind me asking. Is everything okay? Would you believe it? I left my wallet in my office. Oh, I've been there, sir. You're all set, sir. Excuse me, sir. Ma'am, this is private property. <laughs> Really ought to rethink your hiring practices, Bruce. Your man's lying down on the job. What did you do to him? It, is he still alive? Don't worry. A little bop on the head never killed anyone. Bet you're holding a sledgehammer. Going up, Brucey. You do know how an elevator works, don't you? You know, I might have pegged you wrong. Good boy. As long as you keep up this good behavior, give me a hard time. Bet. I might have to go back and finish the job. <laughs> yeah, he wasn't a very good guard anyway. I mean, isn't he supposed to keep people out? Maybe getting knocked out will teach him a lesson. Don't do that again. How cute. He thinks he's the one giving the orders. Listen, sugar. Don't ever tell me what I can. Bruce is a real man of substance, Harley. It's in his blood. Thought you were gonna wait in the car. And Harley figured you'd want some company. Didn't want you to have to do this all by your lonesome. Stop saying like that. Get back you to the car. You don't have a problem with that, do you, Mr. Moneybags? No problem. Fine. But no one else gets hurt. You got a strange set of priorities for someone who wants on the good side. I get it, Bruce. You're the boss. You don't turn your back on your people, even when they're useless. I have to say, Bruce, it's exhilarating to walk these hallowed halls with you. This is where the wheeling and dealing happens, the power plays, the boardroom scuffles. I can feel all that toxic energy in the walls. You ah, think I'd want a place like this one day? Like you, Bruce? I think I'd get quite a kick out of being CEO. If you keep your head down, work really hard, yeah, why not? Oh yeah, you worked real hard. <laughs> you had a rich pops who stole everything not nailed down. Oh, come on, Harley. Bruce's father works really hard at taking other people's money. You gotta give him credit for that. <laughs> hey, hey, pull it together, puts. All that slushy you drink has got you. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bruce, well, I'm surprised to see you. And these are. <clears throat> French to whom do so I owe so the pleasure? Fashion They're sons. fashion <laughs> consultants. I figured it's time I try out a new look. Not ah. just Bruce. We're gonna revamp this whole place. Dress everyone in snazzy uniforms. Oh. Well, no one ran this by me. Just think, you could come into work on Monday dressed just like me. Is this some kind of joke? Do I look funny to you? Hey, Harley. Harley. 
Like I'm some kind of punchline or something? Harley. Excuse me? <laughs> You're gonna let your employees sass me like that? Back off, Harley. Is this the kind of operation you run here? Leave her alone. Back off. I ain't even gotten started. I swear to God. I said back off. <laughs> Your friends don't suit you, Bruce. You got a firm grip, Mr. Corporation. The kind that makes a girl go weak in nope. her knees. No, nope. no, back off. No. Nope. can do with those hands. We could carve out some alone time. Tempting, but I'm pretty sure that would be a bad idea. <laughs> yes, that would be a terrible idea. Bruce has a job to do. Remember? Shut your pie hole, will you, John? You gotta learn to live in the moment. Forget it, Brucey boy. Your secret lab ain't really a secret. Cobblepot's got quite a mouth on him. I don't think he ever shut it the whole time I was working at Blackgate Prison. He told me all sorts of interesting stuff. Say, do you like chess? Work your magic. Tick tock. What's the hold up? Please. You know, I think you two are the closest friends I've ever had. Okay, I'm gonna leave that episode here. Please, if you liked it, drop a like, and I hope to see you in the next episode. Bye.